Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Christina coming to you from the Catio. And today our convo is talking about the narcissistic Hoover. And for those of you who don't know what a Hoover is, it is basically just more manipulation from the narcissistic abuser to suck you back into a toxic abusive relationship. And this can happen whether you were discarded or whether you left the narcissistic abuser. I personally was discarded after 18 years and my narc abuser immediately, uh, when he told me, oh, you can come get your things, I came and got my things while he was out on a bike ride with the new supply and it literally took his mind and like twisted it because I don't think he thought I would actually leave. I think he thought I was going to do what I've done in the past, which is beg for him please let me stay. I love you. We can make it work. I'll change. All these things that I was conditioned to believe. And I finally was at least beginning, uh, I was at that point in therapy for two months and able to say, no, you want me gone? You want me to get my things? I got my things. I got my cats and I left. But immediately he began calling my mom, trying to text my mom, I'm sure trying to call me, but I have already uh, blocked him at that point. Um, and he did wind up actually breaking into my home uh, two days after I came and I got my belongings because, again, it was a loss of control. So even if you were discarded, don't think you're not going to maybe one day get a Hoover. Um, I honestly don't know if I have received a Hoover because... I've gone no contact now. And I've been about 95% no contact um, since January, so, you know, six months. But I've only been 100% no contact for a little over a month now because I kept, kept one social media site open because of the cats. And I thought, oh, maybe he wants to see the cats. Maybe he loves the cats. Narcissists don't love anyone but themselves. So what does a Hoover look like? It could be as simple as phone calls. I've changed. No, you haven't. <laughs> they never change. Or text messages. Something as simple as, oh, hey, what, what was my password for this? Or what was my password for that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Not my problem. Don't care. Uh, it could also go, they can go as ex extreme and say, my mom's sick, she's dying, or, oh, I, I'm, I'm so upset that I've lost you, I'm going to hurt myself. Don't fall for any of it. And do not give in to the Hoover. Because the moment you do, the moment you take the narcissistic abuser back, it is going to be worse. Now, I will tell you, I have not received a Hoover. However, I absolutely will not accept any because this is, this was it. I'm done and you have to be done. When you leave that narcissistic abuser or if they discard you and leave you, be done. That's either way, you're doing it for you. Do not let them snake their way back into your life. Do not let them guilt you into taking them back. They are predators. This is what they do. And it's gonna be worse the second time, the third time, the fourth time, the 20th time around. It's never gonna get better. They don't change. Just remember, you're dealing with a monster. You're dealing with some sort of demonic presence. Whatever in your mind is the worst thing. That's what they are. But here, in reality, not in a movie. So protect yourself. Have a game plan. If you think that your narcissist abuser might hoover, no, and, and think about it in your mind. Like, how am I going to respond? And hopefully you've gone no contact where it's going to be very difficult for them to get in touch with you. They might rely on flying monkeys to do their recon work for them. They might create fake accounts, profiles, so they can monitor what you're doing. The narcissist does not want to see you happy. Do they do not want to see you moving on and thriving? 
because that's out of their control. And to them, you're just an object that when they want, they can take you off that shelf and use you for whatever means necessary for them to get supply, whether it's financial, emotional, mental, um, whether you've taken them on vacation, taken them to a beach house, um, pay their bills, you know, you've uh, got them out of sticky situations in the past. They're only looking to see what they can do. And if they see a happy, healthy person thriving, they're not going to be able to break down your new set of boundaries. And that's why it's so important. Immediately when you get out of a narcissistic abusive relationship, whether you leave or whether you were discarded, start therapy and make sure the therapist understands abuse and specifically narcissistic abuse. This is not something that everybody is trained in. And the only thing I can tell you is a trained professional is going to be able to give you that insight of if they come back, if they hoover, what to do. And for me, I already know what I refuse to accept the hoover. Now, I can say that firmly, uh, you know, seven months ago, I probably couldn't. Um, I would have, I was actually almost like looking forward to the Hoover almost. There was times mentally I'd go, oh, maybe he'll come back. Maybe he'll change his mind and we can, you know, things will be okay and we can move forward. No, no, Christina, don't be so foolish. He never changed in 18 years, only progressively got worse. <laughs> affair after affair, physical abuse, mental and emotional abuse. It never got better. It only got worse. And it was my fault for allowing it. And that's the, the process of this is you have to learn why you allowed it and begin to heal and process your own emotions. That's why therapy, finding a mentor, someone who's walked the path is so important. But as far as the Hoover goes, we all don't get a Hoover. Some people never get a Hoover. And if we don't, count yourself lucky because a lot of people do. A lot of narcissists are just not willing to give up that sense of control. And, you know, you're an object. You're not a person. They don't want to see you happy. They have set out to destroy you. So a lot of the times they will come back and hoover. And if they don't, it almost means that you've already shown them or what they have seen. And trust me, they're watching. They're watching every day. They are watching. They know what you're doing. Even if you've gone no contact and blocked them, they're going to use flying monkeys, create social media accounts under different names. They're going to know what you're doing. Just be strong and make sure you stand firm with your new set of boundaries and make one of those boundaries and priorities that you will not accept a narcissist Hoover. Because if you go back, it will be worse. And that's kind of hard to imagine because a lot of the stuff we've walked through, I, I don't know many people who could uh, sum it up any worse than what it was. Most of the time you feel like it's the bottom of the barrel. You hit rock bottom when you get out of that relationship. You don't even know yourself anymore. So hopefully you never have to even experience a Hoover and take that as a compliment. Maybe the narcissist goes, uh-oh, wow, boundaries. Oh, they're gaining strength. Can't mess with them anymore. And hopefully they'll leave you alone. And if they don't, and they come back, if they start showing up, calling, texting, block that number, block that email. If they show up at your house, call the police. Throw a restraining order on their rear end. Do whatever you have to. Protect yourself and don't go back. You're worth more than that. I was worth more than that. I didn't realize it for 18 years. Don't be like me. Make sure you have standards, your priorities, your boundaries in place. So that way you can move forward and be healthy and happy. And it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of work. But at least if you have your mindset focused on you and your self-healing and self-love and self-care, 
that's what's the most important thing. So anyways, guys, I'm going to try to keep it short. Uh, I still keep talking. But uh, until next time, if you could, like the video, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, anything that's going to help push this content out onto YouTube. And please drop comments. Let me know. Have you been Hoovered before? I'd love to hear stories. Um, and maybe you haven't. Maybe you've been out of a relationship 10, 15 years, never got a Hoover. You might have been in a relationship 10, 15 years and now just got a Hoover. But myself and other people in this community would love for you to uh, open up and tell your story because it's so important we share. So anyways, until next time, you guys take care and I will talk to you soon. Bye.